to achieve skill based routing using machine learning models eugene needs to create a machine learning model and then use that model in the classification rule to predict and attach skills to the incoming work item let us go to the omni channel admin center app eugene then clicks user attributes from advanced settings goes to intelligent skill finder and clicks manage first she needs to create a new machine learning model she clicks on new and provides a name to the model and clicks save there are two ways in which one could load the training data to bootstrap the model one way is one could fetch the data from the dataverse and use that data records to bootstrap the model and another way is that user could upload the data in the form of excels from the third party systems and bootstrap the model let us first look at how user could use excels to prepare that data and bootstrap the model let us now look at how one could prepare the excel file the excel file needs to be prepared in a specific template there are two files one needs to upload let us look at the first file msdn underscore ocs i training data there are three columns here the first column is the skill finder model the value in this if you could see it has to match with the model name in the application right the name of the model was ccd skills model 02 and that's what this column a needs to have and then what we are providing in each row is an independent record which has to be unique and also the corresponding input data so here if you see there are number of records each row has a unique name for example ccd hyphen sm training data a1 001 a1 002 and so on and then the corresponding strings are there in column c this is your actually the training text it's a text classification model which gets used behind the scene so that's how you are preparing your data for training the model let us now look at the second file which is msdn underscore ocs i td skill if you see in this file the record which you uploaded in the previous file there's an entry for each record in this file and correspondingly against each record you are talking about the corresponding skills which are linked to that particular text belonging to that record so a1001 this is the characteristic mapping which is espresso machines and the corresponding characteristic is espresso machines that's how you would go and prepare this file if you want a particular record to have more than one skill mapped to that particular record you will have another entry let's say the same entry here ccd sm training data a1001 again and then you would enter the second skill and the corresponding characteristic as well that's how you would prepare this file once both the files are prepared uh, you would put that into a folder and name it equivalent to the model name which you have given in the application and convert that into a zip file all right we have the zip file ready now let us go back to the application in the application to upload the excel user need to click training data and then go to the import excel option using clicks import excel user chooses the file which was prepared the zip file and uploads and clicks next user sees both the files here and clicks next click next again and then submits the file 
and clicks finish. To see the data, user clicks refresh on the board here. User could see that the all the data has appeared here. After a few seconds, the data appears. Ensure that the corresponding tags in the input data are available before you proceed to the next step. Also, one thing to ensure is that during the preparation of your Excel file, do ensure that the each record name is unique across the different models you have prepared and the records you have uploaded. So ensure these are unique record names. And let's say for some reason, uh, you are not able to see your uploaded records here. You can always go to the data management and, and, and look for the result of your uploaded data, whether they have failed or successfully executed. Before I move on to further preparation of this model, I talked about that there are two ways one could prepare the data for the model, and this was the Excel upload way. Now let us look at how one could use the data from the existing records from Dataverse. So for that, one needs to go to configuration and then go to the data criteria section. In the data criteria section, in the attributes, select the attributes and related list to form the training data set. The corresponding attribute values will be merged in the sequence they are added and will be used to form the input string for the model training data. So in our example, let's go ahead and choose case description. You can also add more attributes and it will concatenate all the values corresponding to those attributes and prepare the string. In the filter section, which is an optional section, one could apply filters to conditionally select the relevant records. Let's say you're only looking for records which are in resolved stage or high priority cases, you could use those filters. In my example, I am not putting any condition here. In the date range filter, select a value to set the time period for which the record needs to be loaded. We give you a couple of options. Let's say in this example, I'm going to choose past one year and then click Save. With this, your data criteria is completed. And post that, you simply click on load training data. What that does is it fetches all the records from the Dataverse. And then you go to the training data and start reviewing the fetch records and the corresponding labels. Now let us go back to our training data, which was fetched. Here, if you see, there are three columns in the pending training section. Input data, the string which was sent, the corresponding tags, which are skills, and the approval status by default, which is pending. What one needs to do is now to start training the model with this data, one needs to approve all these records. One way to do that is you can go to individual record and approve. One could also go to edit and review the corresponding tags which are attached and make changes to either the input string or the output skill. So one could go about adding more skills. One could go and edit the input data as well and change the approval status. Let's say in this example, I'm going to change the approval status to approved and save. So one way is, which is a lengthy process, one could keep doing one record to another or else simply one could select all the records and say approve all. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. It just goes and clicks approve all. That is all records gets approved. In the pending training, there are no records left. One could go to the all training and could see all the approved records here. After that, user simply clicks on train model and starts training the model. It says we are training your data. This could take some time, so you can check values. At times, this training could take a few minutes. Let's wait for this training to complete. The current status is training in progress. One could click Refresh to see the updated status. After a few seconds, the status changes to training completed. 
the next step is select this computed training data set and click on publish model we have shown a message we are publishing your model this could take some time it could take few seconds to minutes let's wait for that to complete you see that the status is right now changed to publish completed what that means is the model is now published if you now go back to the default view of the models you could see that our model ccd skills model 02 the status is completed training and this model status is published now your model is trained and published the next step is to use this newly trained and published isf model in your classification rules so that this model can be used to start predicting the skills user needs to go to the work streams in our example we're going to go to the ccd record work stream user goes to the classification rules and then chooses to create a new isf rule set name is given set skills using isf model and user also chooses that it's a machine learning model rule type. There's an option given to choose the machine learning model. It's a skill identification model. And user chooses the model which he or she, Eugene, has recently published, which is CCD skills model 02. And then clicks on create. Here, once the rule set is created, in this user needs to provide the input attribute the input string which will go to the model in the runtime when the case gets created there has to be some input which is going to get sent to the model in this example let's choose case description which we will be sending as an input text to the model and in return we'll get the skills back which are going to get attached to the work item let's save and close the rule set is now created and is ready to let us now look at this in the runtime let's go ahead and create the case from customer service hub click on plus case select the customer provide a case title Provide a description to the case. I'm looking for a placement. And then provide the in And then provide a case type as problem. Save and close. Open the case. Click on save and route. Click on route. Once the record is routed, you can go to diagnostics. Go to the routed record. And see the classification rules which got applied. And then let's go to the rule which we created. Uh, which was this setting skills using CCD skills model 02. And you can see that the espresso machine skill has been applied to the case with a confidence score of 74.34%. In the agent experience, also you would get to see the skill control on the case form. You can always customize the case form and add that skill control, which is documented. And agent can review the skills using that skill control. Agent can add and remove skills from the skill control. So let's say, for example, agent feels that the identified skill by the machine learning model is not right. He or she could go ahead and remove the skills and, and add certain new skills. Over the period of time, admin 
would want to further retrain the model based on the new records which have been created in the dataverse. For that, admin can go back to the corresponding model. So let's say as an admin, you are only interested in those records where agent has manually updated skills and added new skills, and you want to retrain the model because that is more believable data, <coughs> which has manual intervention by the agent. Simply go back to your model, and then in the filters section, look for conversation characteristics entity, and then choose the parameter skill added by contains data and also say that status equals deleted. You could mark these as, as or conditions. With that, you'll be able to fetch only those records where agent has added skills and also or have removed certain skills. And then you perform the same steps which is about uh, loading the data. And then you'll go and perform the steps of approving the data and then train the model further. With that, you will keep iterating over the model and keep retraining it over a period of time. And that way, your model accuracy will keep improving.